to this episode of Shift. I'm your host, Palmonia Gordon. Guys, for sounding like a frog, I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to fight I'm this pole. Frog to me. <laughs> I'm trying That's to fight. Fine. Just, just throw in a ribbit every now and again. We got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now it's uh, just a, a little bit of a curveball for you. Uh, Ashley is your sister. Uh, Ashley's 25. We know she suffers from MS, mm -hmm. and it's because of the love and support of her family that she has been um, as resilient as she has been. Can yeah. you just share a little bit of your take on, you know, when you found out that piece of information and if it was in fact a motivator if you will and you get into the place where you are now just making you change like oh my gosh yeah. she, she's 25 she's like younger than me so yeah. <laughs> what if yeah well yeah like you mentioned ashley is my youngest sister um there are three of us uh i'm the oldest she's the youngest and yeah, when she got diagnosed, it was, it was, it was really, really, really hard. It was hard on all of us. It was like, it was, when she got diagnosed, all of us got diagnosed. That's just how our family is. We're very, very tight. So it was hard. It was sad, especially um, the four of us siblings. There's three, we, there's three girls, one boy, or we have one brother. And we, we went on vacation and she had just got diagnosed. And she was a little bit rough, but that was our first sibling vacation. Like as adults, we're all adults. No parents, our parents aren't there. So, you know, it was a great experience, but to see her deteriorate on that trip at the same time, because when we came back, like she said, she wasn't walking. We had to push her through the airport on the wheelchair. And my brother was carrying her around to the hospital and all that stuff. So it was, it was really, really, really hard. My parents, they were taking it very hard they tried their best to be strong but you know you could see that it was it was weighing on them a lot but um thank god fast forward she recovered but like amazingly and very very quickly it was like a miracle it was it was amazing so once she recovered and i saw her um back on her feet and stuff like that i am the oldest so i'm always motivated <laughs> you know to to be a, a good example from my younger siblings and mm -hmm. to show them that like you know to be strong and keep going and work hard but um to see her go through that and she's very very outgoing and for the most part she had a smile on her face and it was like she was trying to be the strong one for us <laughs> and I thought that was just incredible I, I don't think I'll, I, I don't think I've ever met anyone as strong as her or if I ever will wow, but, um, that's a compliment yeah to see her recover yeah to see her to recover and to get back on her feet and go back to work and doing all these things that she didn't have to do. She didn't have to do any of the things. She could have literally wrapped up in her bed and you know what? Everyone have been, would have said, you know what? It's okay. Let her. And let her because, you know, her life has changed and she's a young person. So let her, you know, like we probably would have let her be in that depression and let her be in her room and just, you know, kind of just cater to her. So I'm glad that she was strong enough to help us be strong enough to kind of get over it. And, and with that being said, to see her go back, get back on her feet and working and all that stuff, I was just like, okay, we're all working hard, but it's time for us to like, to level up, like I said earlier, like how can we do it? We're working and it's not like we're not making money, but how can we make that money work for us mm -hmm. so that we're not killing ourselves and working to the bone all the way until retirement or past beyond retirement like most people are these days like I didn't I don't want that for my family I want something else I don't want that for my daughter you know what I mean I want her to be able to retire at a decent time I want to retire at a decent time I want my parents to be able to retire now what, what what's a decent time though because that that is is a part of the the challenge because um if memory serves me correct, I believe they have upped the retirement age from 65 to 75. I heard that. <laughs> I so, heard that. You know. Oh, that, that, and, that's so, and that's so sad. It's so sad. It's like when, if we spend our entire lives, spend our entire lives working, and at 75 is when they say, okay, you can take a break now. Go and enjoy the reaps of uh, what you sowed. Like, 
at 75 that's so unfair that is so unfair and and, and the sad part is even when we reach 75 a lot of us still won't have anything saved for retirement a yeah. lot of us still won't have anything saved for an emergency the majority of canadians don't have um enough money saved up for a 200 dollars emergency 200 dollars if something comes up unexpected today for 200 dollars or more majority of these families have nowhere to go to find that 200 dollars. they have they have no idea what they're going to do and i feel i don't feel like that's really fair not for the middle class when so many of us are working so so very hard you know yeah. and when i say a decent time i just mean like enough time left to enjoy life like to really really enjoy life and go out and have fun i think you know and you know what and even if you do continue to work after 50 years old i want it like wouldn't it be great if it was because you wanted to or wouldn't it be great because it, that it was something that you love to do instead of going up getting up and, and being upset because you're going somewhere that you don't want to be every single day until you're 65 or 75 that just so 50 is your is your magic number then i think yeah i think at 50 i think that'd be incredible for all of us at 50 to just be to be happy you know not have that weight of oh god how am i going to pay this bill or oh goodness i have to go to this job like life is so much greater and better than that finances i wish that it wasn't an issue for us but yeah, it is it, it yeah, is, is. The, there are two big issues that um you know that we have to and we will always have to deal with the yeah issue of finance and intimacy yeah and uh you know those are always the challenge yeah. but uh thank you for Thank you for stopping by this episode of Shift. Subscribe, leave a comment, like, share the information. But most of all, like the second hand on the clock, take 60 tiny moves that you can come back tomorrow. I love you. God bless you. Have a good day.